Ready? Let's roll. No, it's not deja vu. It's just Skyler's back. He's gone and changed the whole breather system. Fixed that. And he also found that his turbo has had gone bad. Now he's got a 6466 on it. He worked with the guys over at IG, Keith, and they redid this entire breather system. They walked him through it, have everything kind of going together. So we'll see how that does. But he's ready. He's here to make some stink, to make some power. We'll run through the car again. He's kind of, you know, it's more business than it is, you know, show. But I think it looks cool. I mean, it's definitely got a good flavor. I mean, look at those lines. I mean, that looks tight. Feels good. Feels good to the hand, you know? Like, he's definitely hard at work on it. I think it's gonna turn out really good. Let me see. Let's check out what else. So, if you guys remember, this is on AEM Infinity. Uh, he's kind of got it all wired with the switches and switch panels and everything else. I'll leave these doors open and get some heat in that car. It's freezing in there. Um, we're going to go ahead and, before we do anything, we're going to go and gap the spark plug. So we're going to take a minute to just pull that stuff apart and uh, get her together. So, all right, let's go to work. Without blowing one out, right? Yeah, so my thinking is let's just start tight and we won't blow it out. And we'll actually light it and we'll be successful. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I can add a half a pound for that makeup. <laughs> so we're getting these plugs changed while well, pulled and then we're going to gap them and we're going to shove them back in and uh, rip it. It's a little bit different on these tubers. There's a little bit different. You know, you gotta pull the downpipe, the engine. <laughs> Step one, pull engine. <laughs> Step one, pull engine. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I mean, honestly, like you did, you just fish the stuff in there, pull it out, and uh, it's ready to go. And a flex head, it's gotta be a flex head. I really like this setup, though. Really I think it really looks good, Skyler. I, I like right the... Up. So he went and hardlined all of this. So if you guys really look at the detail in the hard line, like look at all this, the fuel line all hard line. I like that stuff a lot. Did you make the alternator bracket? I did. I like that. Yeah. That's and for sturdy. this mid, you know, a pipe in the middle. Yeah, we need to rebuild that and stainless one of these days. And we That's get all that grace. extra free time on the hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that we don't have. Yeah. But it looks good. Starting to clean it up. One of the biggest things I actually read about while uh, I was away is cooling to the back of the to the back two cylinders. So on cylinder three on the old Subaru here, you usually have a coolant port that comes off the head and goes up to a turbo. Well, yeah. I don't have that, so that was just plugged. Oh. And on cylinder four, there's never anything. It's always just been a plug. And mad props to uh, Dominic Isha for figuring out the, the reason for the common failures in cylinder four is a cooling system issue. So. For plugging that port. So do you have the ports linked now or do you take them somewhere so else altogether? That's what I did. I ended up building a custom little operation back on that side to come back to the coolant crossover pipe. I gotta dive in. And then I did, uh, did this and one. And where's this located at? Just on the, oh, right there, yeah. right here on the, here we go. Right here we go. Where is it? Oh, right there. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh we found man, it. You got so excited when we found that. Well, yeah, it's a good idea. It's good stuff to know. Like, guys that are wondering what the hell's the problem. So, what uh, I found out just a little testing, driving, running in the garage is my EGTs kind of came to an equilibrium, whereas they always seem to be about 100 degrees hotter on one versus the other. So, wow. I'm kind of curious to see. Yeah. Right on, man. That's good info for the whole world. Just to see. Yeah, wicked good. Yeah, that's not me. Ed. That's experience right there. <laughs> oh, Jonesing. This is gonna be great. Get on the roller, make some hits, and then work on that big green machine some more. Super pumped. I'm really pumped. I'm really pumped to work on all this stuff. I was glad to see this thing show back up today. Yeah. I love this car. 
Yeah, he told me this morning, oh yeah, we got a Subaru coming in on Infinity. We're like, cool. And then you pulled in and we're like, yes! Oh, yeah. They don't tell you who it is, though. No. That's part of the surprise. Ah, see. Started wet sanding it, too. Oh. It feels like it. We had to go straight to the dry sand on there. It was, oh, like, yeah. that was, it was too heavy. Yeah. Like it feels kind of feel it here, but like it's like yeah, it's that's out there. That's why I felt it earlier, and I was like, dang, it's certain. I kind of liked the orange peel look on it though. Yeah, I kind of did like it. Well, who knows? I looked at some plastic, it, so maybe it was like an orange peel at the end. Or you just wrap it in some wicked cool wrap, and yeah. make it look all <laughs> out of control. It's amazing what that He's stuff like, does. I don't have patience, but I built a Subaru. Yeah, right. <laughs> I built a Subaru, but I ain't got patience. All right, so Roger had these sent to us. He sees our customers plugging their ears all the time. So, here you go. I have no idea. Oh, thanks. We got some new headphones. I need. Why? Yeah. And we've got some for our customers and everything. Yeah, it's great. So. Help so much. Thank you so much, Roger. Yep. All right. Here's some headphones. Put some headphones on, guys. Our buddy Roger sent them all to us. So. Roger says everybody's plugging their ears. So. Yeah, I've been plugging my ears. Yeah. Last night I needed these. Well, you're gonna need them today too, so put them on your head, huh? <laughs> Am I doing it right? <laughs> Is that the right way, Roman? That's how they go, right? That's right. Protecting my teeth. Oh yeah. Multi-purpose. Like legit, dude. All right, so we're gonna just put some temp in it, get the dyno set up and uh, get ready to make some rips. It's awesome to have Skylar back. He's been working on this thing really hard, so pretty stoked about that. It's good to see it here. It kind of rolled off on the back. I don't know if your boost fell down or. It could have. Yeah. Yeah, it did a little bit. Yep. It just sounded crisp. It's not smoking out of the breather, nothing crazy. Awesome. 
That music's not too loud, is it? Couple surges. Um, I had one. Like towards the end. Yeah. Okay, that's what I saw on the graph. Just one. It went to. Uh... Yep, that's about what it sounded like. Five thirty-seven. Five thirty-seven, and I left the graph up so you can see those surges. Yeah. Just trying to find the boost control here. Let's check your boost line, all your boost pipes. Did it start coming off? No. Looks good. So it did spike a little after the pull. So we we're probably still around the same power. It's going to show the 522, but that spike was after. So we're right around the same power. It shows 522, but it was a spike at the end. There was a spike at the end? Yeah. Did your boost run up right there? Or? It did. Okay. I'm trying to figure out why. Yeah. Is it doing something weird right at the hit too, or is that just the tire on the dyno? No. Nope. It is. There and at the end. Yeah. And in the middle. Cause like you've got it, it comes up flat and then it dips for a second and then it just goes to a normal smooth grab and then it has another jump or a dip at the end it seems like. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Yeah. Round 52, let's go. Does fifth pop out too? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. If you're on, if it's loaded, it tends to stay. Okay. I don't know. He said try it in fifth. He said it stays better in fifth. Okay. Are you so, uh, are you holding it in fourth? Hard as I can. It's just bumped. all the muscle. It worked before, but the yeah. last two times it hasn't. It's just done. Yeah, I was literally everything I had. Yeah. Like flexed up everything, and it would jerk me out.
28. Oh, I'll pull the graph up so you can see it. Yeah, it looks... So strange, man. Super unpredictable. Huh? It's super unpredictable. Yeah. You may have to go to a three-port unless I can put this four-port on a bench. Do you what? You might need a three-port until I can figure out this on a bench, you know? And get the PIDs right. I went up another 1%. I've just been going up 1% here. He doesn't. Oh, you asked him? Well, he said he could run home and get a different solenoid. But he doesn't have one with him. All right, you got that boost solenoid fixed. Good data, good stuff. That's what we were chasing. Yeah. There we go. 574. We 574. 574. How much was that? That was 21 pounds. There you have it. That's it. That's what we've been messing with. 574. Um, what did you say, 20 pounds? 20 pounds. Uh -huh. So, we had to sit in there for sure. Yeah. Those duties are pretty close to the same. The first one was at 30% the same as we were. And I saw 25, so I took it out. And I just backed it down to the owners. Now at least we know like, what stuff does. Those two numbers back in. One. One back in is six hundred. Six hundred? One percent. Yeah. It's gonna take twenty-four pounds. Twenty-three pounds. Yeah, that's a little bit. Six eighty? You wanna go that high? No, that's five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> take the cut down. Right? You have to raise the cut. Take the cut out of the equation. And that's why I saw the cut coming so I could just before I hit anything, I just got out. But it wasn't ramping like it was before. Like I could watch it. It wasn't just like instant at 4700. So that solenoid stuck open. Yeah. So it was. It was either stuck to the top or it was stuck not letting anything to the bottom. Yes. Because it's a four port, so it can go either way. Yeah, it's stuck. It's stuck one direction. Yeah, I mean, I just take control twice in a row. So. Yeah. I guess I can change that number and go for gold. Okay, I'm not that far. Six eight now, seven thirty. I'm going to offer whatever you want. <laughs> Party time. <laughs> hey, Todd made it back. You made it, buddy. Welcome back, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> what a drive, huh? Oh yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> Brad. Oh yeah. Who's Thank you. Board? It's all yours, right? Awesome, yeah, thank you, yeah.
624. 624. Yeah, dog. Yeah. Woo! 624. I think I died. <laughs> camera died. Four. You've been tuning so long, your camera died. <laughs> uh, it fell a little bit on the back, yeah? Yeah. We made it, dude. Yeah. All that fight was a loose. A one. solenoid. Yeah. That's why we keep them here. One thing I'll say, you never give up. I can pick up the back or rip it around. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. The way I need battery. <laughs> They're right next to you. We'll get it. I think it's badass. Alright. It's getting late. One last rip. Let's go. Alright. Got that boost solenoid fixed. The last pull was a good rip. Got to his goal. But then he threw a new goal at me, so. We're gonna go ahead and turn it up a little more. See if she'll fly out the back. It's a little cold here outside. We're getting there. Six sixty-five. Six sixty-five, bro. <laughs> Killing it. Twenty-six pounds. Nailed it. Twenty-six pounds. Love it. It's perfect. It's Leave perfect, it bro. This will be a blast. Woo! Yeah, dude. Thank you. Thank so, you, man. I love it. It's, it's actually like hit exactly the numbers we were just saying. I. That's awesome. See, the kick is with no DCCD in it, it's still 80 20, I think, or 70 30, or whatever it is. It's, <laughs> so it breaks. It's rowdy. It's got to get that fixed. Got a lot of power. <laughs> you got a lot of power. Sounded. Oh, it felt great. great. Yeah. Felt great. Felt wonderful. Felt like I could keep going. It was yeah. awesome. Yes. No. We didn't even yes. touch no. the, the three. <laughs> When the sequential's in, we'll go to 30 pounds. There we go. Because 30, 30 to 35 pounds, this thing's going to be. This is 26. It's already going to be. 26 time. pounds. So you could probably add a 150 to 200 horsepower on top of this. Oh, Keith. <laughs> Send me that will all block. <laughs> the golden one? Yes. Made out, yes. Made out of gold. Those things are so pretty. They're. Cool. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? Three tugs? Yeah. Yeah. We fought that boost solenoid for so long. Half, like obviously day. we're gonna abbreviate that for all of you, but we were here for hours <laughs> yeah. chasing a boost solenoid problem because I didn't believe it was a boost solenoid. But once we changed it, she finally it I just worked. finally I just walked over, grabbed one, and said, "Hey, we're gonna do this." It does everything I'm telling it to do. That's all it's supposed to do. And I must have found something in the lunch break. Where it said, yeah, yeah it was right after there. the lunch break that it started acting like that. that was it? Like we walked away and something just shrunk up or got stuck or acted silly. Because I would literally turn the boost control off and I would get gate 
and then I would turn it on and I could build it back up, but then it hit a point and it just skyrocketed. And he could back down to where actually, he was. And actually, if you rewind, there was the one pull where the duty was all the same, but right at the very at end the of the end, pull, remember, it ran, it ran up. It ran right up. And I remember cut. that, yeah, because it made like five, and then it made like 580 or something. Right oh, at the this tip. Was, yeah. Yeah. And that's when stuff really started to go weird. So, so you could see it when it, when the cylinder would actually stick and be closed, or or well, when, when, whatever it was that doing. Huge spike was just a fluke. No, it, no, because you heard it. Jump. You heard it actually it read sound that. different right at the end. Yeah. The solenoid was not pass. good. It would just, whether it was locking up or sticking or the solenoid jammed right. up. Whatever, this fixed it. It all works. The car's ready to rock. Needs a transmission. Other than that, have a good time. The end. You just have no fourth now. Sorry. Still no fourth. <laughs> Rest in pieces. That's all right. Rest in pieces. Get good at it's that. Been going out for like Get it. five years. And man. then you let Brent <laughs> drive it yeah. once. Well, now it's. Uh, I seem to find the weakest link on everybody's stuff. That's good. <laughs> See if you can find it on that. I'm Honestly, really man. impressed though. The oil, it did not push any oil, so everyone knows that. Yeah. Everything, everything's fixed. Yeah, the turbo well. fixed the lagginess. IAG and yourself fixed all the. Blow by issue. The same bottom end. You did not yeah. rebuild this no. engine. No. It's the same okay. Engine. So thing. Yeah. Everything's working. The whole car's working. So that it didn't lubricate your dyno at all. Yeah. Today, it didn't at all. And we fought that solenoid. No, right? We'd have been done so long ago if we didn't fight the solenoid. I mean, that's all. I was probably too stubborn. I did not think it was that. I kept asking Jamie. Is there a line that fell off the gate? I, yeah, how many times did I walk over oh, and I'm like, the lines are on, the lines are fine. I'm like, did I blow a coupler? It just, <laughs> right? nope, that was boost cut. He's like, how did it get there that quick though? I tell you, it's Like it's honestly, I, would, I could get full boost at 4,500 RPM. If I ramped it in, I don't know how much sooner it could go. This thing spools really fast. It's perfect. And I brought. I mean, I know a stock down, a stock so will spool like probably 2,700 or 3,000 RPM or something, but it's like this big, right? It's right. This big, it's tiny. This thing is good. It's capable of 900 horsepower, and it spools what 800 to 1,000 RPM slower than a stocker. Yes, please sign me up. Yeah. I'll buy two. <laughs> I'm twin turboing everything now. <laughs> Well, I'm impressed. This was fun. It was a bitch, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we we started. No joke. He was here at 11. He's been here all day. Yeah, and it's 7:30 at night, and we're shutting down. So, we did it all day. Well, this just stayed true to the Subaru fashion, bud. She won't give it to you. Easy. It was, no, if it was easy. <laughs> everyone would do it. Right? Kind of that struggle is what makes you wiser, though. If you don't fight your car, you don't battle through something. You're never gonna know what. This okay. Is. What are the two things cars will teach you? Two things? Yeah, you said there's two things cars will yeah, teach, you. teach you. Patience and how to cuss. Well, I'm still Skylar killed it. Going up on a Thursday. Heading off the dyno. Because it's almost Friday. I don't know. It's whatever. Oh, it, this is perfect dyno weather right now. What a gem. See you later. Bye-bye. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me. When we got to rip that thing, that was a blast. <laughs> One heck of a busy day. We got a bunch of stuff going on the bully, and we got the Subaru knocked out. So, I would say today was this. I would say today was. I would say today was. I would say today was a, say today was a success. A success. <laughs> <laughs> we eventually get it. A couple tries. Keep Whatever. working on it. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll see you guys all tomorrow.